What year did you start your breathing? Uh, I start my breath in 1992 with uh, three breathing masks from uh, the brand of uh, Casa Cadaval. But uh, the most important of these three masks, it was a, a mare that died some years ago, that it was, uh, his name Coca. And Coca is behind uh, my group of, now of my breathing mask. So she's behind of everything. So from the trees, the most important, it was coca. The others was called Irisada, Herbanari, but coca is behind my old stallion that I still have in Rochinol, or my uh, new stallion that is called Garimpeiro. Uh, he's a son of Rochinol, so he's behind, coca is behind him also, and behind of all my horses that they are, they are or they was in competition, like Oxidado, uh, in work equitation, that it was the horse that until now with Pedro Torres win the most uh, number of prizes in the world because it was world champion, uh, European champion, uh, Portugal champion, so it's uh, the horse in work equitation that has more titles. And I want also to uh, the case of Bariloche in dressage that it was in the Portuguese team and uh, in the world championship in the United States. But uh, that is my mares, my be the beginning of the breed. After I use uh, some important uh, stallions, and I want to nominate it Shakiro. Uh, that uh, it was the that I say uh, the move of the Lusitan horses is before Shakiro and after Shakiro. Shakiro, it was a change of the movements uh, of the Lusitan horses for dressage, and uh, uh, I put also a very important uh, stallion some years ago that it was Oshtil, and now uh, I'm putting uh, Ruby. Uh, that went in, uh, to the Olympic Games in 2012 with Consal Carvalho. Uh, so now my all horses that are composed of these three stallions with that old mare that it was Coca. And why did you choose these breeding lines? Uh, I choose uh, uh, these breeding lines first because the first three mares they was. Uh, uh, half 50% of Vega line, that is one of the oldest lines that you have, and the other 50% of the oldest, oldest line that we have in Portugal, that it was Alter. So the three mares that I begin, it was a mix between Vega line and Alter line. Why I choose these stallions? Because uh, all these three stallions I know very well since they was very young, uh, Shakiro, I rode him many times because it was belonging um, to f three friends uh, of me, uh, Pedro Iglesias, uh, de Oliveira, he was from Dr. Borba, the director of the school, and finally where he died in Pedro Passanha. And uh, the other stallions, uh, um, Hostil, it was from my old uh, trainer and friend and director of the school, Dr. Borba, so I uh, since uh, that I was at three years that I, I, I saw uh, the evolution as a dressage horse and uh, also from Ruby because Ruby was in the party school of equestrian art with Gonçal Carvalho that he was a writer of the school and uh, I know Ruby since the four years old also so all the three horses I know very well uh, I rode two of them I didn't rode or steal but I saw the dressage of since the beginning of our steel. so I, I like to put in my breathing uh, stallions that I know well. Okay, I made other choices, but almost in the, around that lines, because I want horses that are good movers, good temperament, and that can can use him in everything. And for me, it's very important the work equitation and the dressage comp competition. And I like also the bullfight. Uh, and I think that the bullfight is very important because it's behind of everything. Uh, as a, a mental, uh, to develop the mental of the horses for uh, the combat and the war with the bull and it all the times in the wars. And uh, the bullfighting is a test. And uh, all my horses, they have the line behind of the bullfighting horses. <laughs> Where 
reading located? Uh, since 2015, I made a, a partnership uh, with my friend uh, Alexander Weiser from Switzerland. So the breed belonged to both. And since 2007, uh, because we was looking by a property to, to put the breed, and finally we found a very nice place in the middle of Ribatejo, where is almost all breeders of Lusitano, um, and also where is the, uh, a lot of breeders of the black bulls for bullfighting, so it's the center of the Lusitano breed is uh, Ribatejo. And we find in Pankaj, near, very near of Lisbon, we are 35 kilometers from the airport of Lisbon, in the protected area of the river Tejo, when we uh, can see bird, uh, a lot of birds, flamingos, everything, and is a protected area that is very important. And we have here another three hectares with uh, uh, all that we need for uh, have a good breed. We have a pivot uh, irrigation system of 40 hectares. We have now 23 boxes. We have a riding hall. We have a dressage arena 60 by 20. We have a lounge arena. In the future, maybe make more bo stables and boxes, but I think now is enough. And we have enough uh, paddocks with grass for all young horses and mares. So I think that is a great choice. In the future, we want to turn uh, the property to equestrian tourism. Uh, we are beginning to develop the, that because I think that is the future. Uh, what we want is to show our breed to all the people, not only for Portuguese and foreigners, that all the people, uh, they are welcome in this fantastic place. And how do you handle the training of your horses? I handle, uh, I'm a professional rider <laughs> and teacher. Uh, so I begin by a, to be rider, uh, uh, like I told you, to be breeder only in 92, because it was my hobby, now it's not so only my hobby. It, uh, I want to develop uh, the breed in the, the good direction and uh, as uh, what is uh, good for a breeder because I'm a rider I have experience of trying horses in the beginning I was trying all my mess breeding mess now I don't put read on all my mess because I don't need because I know well what they can uh, give to the foals and also because I know very well the lines like I told you I wrote the main stallions and all times I rode them, so I know what is behind all my breed. And what do you find so fascinating about the Lusitano? The Lusitano for me is the most functional horse that we have in the world. <laughs> Why? Why? Because the Lusitano, um, like I told you, it was developed more for the war, for the hunting, after, uh, like all the most uh, horses in the peninsula, they, they, they was called Iberian horses from Portugal and Spain. That is the horses that behind in the 16th century, 17th century in the old academies in Europe. The older academies almost uh, had all these lines from the penin uh, peninsula, Iberian uh, Peninsula. So, um, and after, because they were select for the war and for the hunting, and in the last century for the bullfighting, they have good temperament, they are flexible, energy, good gates, and now, in our days, they are used for everything. You, you see them in the in the horse ball, you see him in the uh, carriage. There was two times world champions by the manor Felix Basser, two times champion of the world in the foreign end. Uh, in the dressage, they developed last 20 years very well. And now we see him uh, with the Portuguese team of dressage is only with Lusitanos. We have the Brazilian team with Lusitanos. We have Ireland with the Lusitanos. You, you, uh, two years ago we had Luxembourg, so in Spain. So uh, the horses can also be good dressage horses for competition. As a, you have as a uh, horse for the academies, we have our academy, the Portuguese School of Equestrian Art. 
that work only with Lusitanos. And you have different shows in Europe, and not only Europe, that use only Lusitanos. You have, for example, in Chantilly, in Saumur. Okay, it's a French school, but they have Lusitanos also, some Lusitanos. And uh, also, for jumping, they are not the best horses, the um, other breeds that develop for that. You have the San Francisco, you have the German horses, you have the Kappa WPN, you have the Swedish horses. But, okay, until a certain level, because they was not selected for jumping, they are very good for children and that means that one or other horse can jump very high. We have the case of Novilleiro in uh, the years uh, 1970, uh, 80, that he was in the top 20 of the horses uh, ridden by John Whitaker in the top 20 of the indoor horses in competition, in uh, Grand Prix uh, shows. And, and, um, and uh, for leisure, they are very good for the school for children, we have Lusitanos. Um, for the hunting, it's good also. And, uh, and uh, for example, you use him in, uh, in the army also for the Republic Army in Portugal. All stuff uh, that uh, when well, uh, come a president, an ambassador, when our president want to receive them, come the guard Republican reason only in Lusitan, uh, they ride only Lusitanos, and not only in Portugal, in Jordania. They bought uh, some years ago 60 horses to put uh, the Republic out. So you see him in everywhere. And, okay, that is the king of the bullfighting. If you go to all stables of the bullfighting um, riders, you see Lusitanos. Not only in Portugal, Spain, everywhere. South America, Central America. They are best because they were selected for that. So you can use him where, what you want, you can make everything. Thank you a lot.